Then Bill Clinton killed Vince Foster with his own gun. <laughs> Apparently, the Pope is on Team Kim Davis. Uh, the Pope. I'm back at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Fox News Pope. Uh, today, on Fox and Friends, uh, Pope Francis was sitting in for Steve Ducey. And said that it was a human right to refuse to discharge a duty as a government official, such as issuing marriage licenses to homosexual couples. And if someone does not allow others to be a conscientious objector, he denies a right. Now, we should make it clear, that's not what Kim Davis was doing. Kim Davis was not conscientiously objecting. Because what a conscientious objector would do in that situation is say, I'm not going to sign these marriage licenses. I'm going to step aside and allow someone else in my office to sign those marriage licenses. Because I, it's against my conscience to do it. And if that had been the case from the beginning, Kim Davis would have never gone to jail. And so when five out of six uh, deputy uh, clerks were allowed to sign, she was released from jail because the lawsuits were dropped. We should also say, just as the Pope wasn't really sitting in for Steve Ducey, I want to inform our right-wing friends that those 100,000 people in Peru did not gather to support Kim Davis. <laughs> and <laughs> this is actually a meme that's going around. There was 100,000 Peruvians who apparently gathered to support Kim Davis. The reason why we know 100,000 people did not gather in Peru to support Kim Davis is because, A, we're not morons, <laughs> and B, because the images of those 100,000 Peruvians gathering to support Kim Davis could be a uh, would have to be explained by they all being future tellers because they gathered in 2014, <laughs> a full year before anybody knew who Kim Davis was. The Peruvians, they have a sign up from God. <laughs> <laughs> they know they're going to have to support the Kim Davis. They keep it from the homos. <laughs> all the takers do is they take and they take and they take. You know, Brian, I think Ben Carson is very authentic. When he talked about the Muslims, people are paying attention now. I just love the idea that even even if the picture was taken like this past weekend, the idea that these people would gather because of someone in local politics in the United States is hilarious. The same way the Peru and the Mexicos try to come over the border to influence the uh, state auditor that's election. That's exactly uh, it. This no, is the same thing. Not, no, no, no. The explanation would be this. In Peru, Don't interrupt me, Jew. In Peru, <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, holy say. Uh, set up their own special sort of country in a country in Peru in the early 1900s. And they follow exclusively Kentucky politics uh, in this sort of like little community they formed. And that's where these people came from. These are the descendants of those people. The, the luck of the king. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good leader. The uh, poor people, they all they want to do is a take. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. Start a business. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the phones. Uh, I, I well, the point the being, wait, David, let me I... just finish it. The point being, they go back to Asia. So by definition, the babies are not anchor babies. Because the whole idea about anchor babies is that you have a child in the United States and that's how you stay in the United States. They anchor you there because they're a citizen and then you wait for uh, President Obama, secret uh, socialist uh, Kenyan, to offer citizenship. So They get on out of rice rockets and go back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like at the debate. They want to do a debate. I guarantee you no one will talk about securing the border. <laughs> On the where, where are the emails? 
Hmm? What are the emails? At least a Bernie Sanders admit he's a socialist. Hillary Clinton is a lying. She have an email here, an email there, and Bill Clinton kill a Vince Foster with his own gun. <laughs> he have a desert eagle. He take his bodies to the park. It's a part of a cover-up. <laughs> liberal media won't cover this. Uh, Jeb Bush is a liberal. The nature of guerrilla warfare has transformed. And whereas the revolution was formally waged in the hills, in Vermont, and other such places to take on the capitalist pigs, and now we are entering into an urban warfare environment. So look to the shining path in Peru, as one example. <laughs> <laughs> and other groups that have harmonized the interests of the peasants with the petty bourgeoisie in the urban centers and understand the cleansing power of violence. Because as Chairman Mao said, liberation comes in the barrel of a gun, in my opinion. Toss my salad. We pull our socks all the way up to our knees. They don't. They're crazy. That's all. That's all he's saying. Glenn Greenwald is a traitor. <laughs> I should be put a bullet in the head. Um, all even, the lives let, matter. Let, let me say, listen. All lives matter. How are you going to get respect from Vladimir Putin? I mean, Putin's, Putin and Rouhani are probably sitting around drinking, having a drink and laughing at the Republicans. I think... <laughs> oh, Putin's like, did you see the debate? <laughs> <laughs> he want a uh, non-alcoholic beer? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, retards. I hate to tell you. I'm not politically correct. I still use that word. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> so Did you see that Trump? I hope Trump, it's not I, Trump. I hope Trump no. Is I Trump is Trump scary. Is scary. <laughs> he he would, make a deal. Yeah, yeah, make a he make a deal. deal. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he different. <laughs> <laughs> he rented um, me a villa once, so he now, make look. a deal. Oh, the now Pope look, is here, Here's too. a guy. Trust me, that's not the only thing that's going to be happening at the Million Man March 20th anniversary. I've got some things planned. I'll just, just a little teaser right there. Here's a, the Obama starting to sound a little like Texan. I got some things, uh, things, things planned. planned. Loosen uh, it up, man. <laughs> I can't do a little Texas twang when I'm about to implement Sharia. <laughs> they believe that they found liquid water on Mars, like. During warmer months, there's actually water, like not just wow. molecules, like the actual wow. water on Mars. Can you imagine how much a government spending goes to discover water on a Mars? <laughs> it's a waste of the money. It, uh, liberal finances. Well, you know, there's actually like a, a, there's a strong liberal argument, too. Like, OK, great. Who's going to get the benefits of that? Hopefully they're one percent and they're creators. <laughs> You can cite a poll that 37% of people think that uh, genetically modified papayas cause cancer, but I don't know that they're buying papayas anyways. So, I mean... That was one uh, GMO. So here's another... But that's example. the example you gave me. A couple me. years ago. Let I'm me, asking me, you. I'm giving me, you a, a, a platform to make the most compelling argument you can as to the danger of okay. labeling GMOs, and you tell me papayas. So I'll give you one more shot. Yeah, I, can pull that. I am never going to eat another papaya again. <laughs> That's my big takeaway from that call. I had no idea that I was giving myself cancer with those things. <laughs> I thought they were a lovable Caribbean fruit. And I'm literally killing myself. Unbelievable. Honestly, I mean, that's the point, is that it's just not a compelling argument. It's just not. The cost of the cost of putting labels on there is just not so great. Should write another letter. Thank you, Monsanto. <laughs> <laughs>